for tuning in to Intel Jarosoft, and today I got with me the Elite Force H and K licensed MP7. Now this little guy is a compact submachine gun uh, for you CQC players out there, and it's also a uh, gas rifle as well. So you know, green gas goes in the magazine, and it, uh, it uses green gas or propane, so whatever you guys want to use. Uh, this is an awesome feeling gun, uh, really heavy. Even though the entire body and pretty much everything on the gun is polymer, uh, there's a lot of heft to it. And you can really feel that this is uh, a lot of quality in this gun. It's not some cheap plastic or anything like that. Uh, let's just go over some uh, features of the gun. Uh, right at the front, you got your smaller than usual uh, and a little bit longer uh, flash hider. Uh, this one's orange, you know, for safety reasons. Of course, you got your collapsible type of front grip that tucks away just like that in case, you know, you just run around hip firing or, you know, you pull it out and you get a little bit more stability, which is really nice. Uh, moving back, you got your ambidextrous uh, bolt, uh, I mean, bolt control, and also you got your ambidextrous uh, fire selectors. And moving towards the back, you know you got your collapsible stock. Uh, just push up on this one right there, comes out just like so. And it's actually a really decent stock, no wobble whatsoever, which I really like to see with collapsible stocks. Uh, absolutely no wobble when extended all the way. And you know you got your charging handles, bracket back. Actually uh, opens up the bolt, smack it forward, uh, bolt stays open until you actually hit the bolt release, right there. And it actually makes a really satisfying uh, noise when you're shooting it and when you rack the bolt back. Uh, this gun's full features, uh, shoots fantastic, nice fire rate, and uh, pretty accurate for such a small barrel. Again, you're not going to be using this gun outside really, you're going to be using this more in a CQC kind of setting, you know, uh, small it up, you know, put the stock in, go around corners really quick. That's what this gun's really meant for, not those long uh, range engagements that you get outside. Uh, pretty much uh, what I gotta say about it is that it's really uh, lefty friendly. Um, a lot of guns out there, M4 variants and stuff like that, are very too kind of lefties. Um, I'm not a lefty personally, but I have a few friends on my team that are, and they always complain about mag release being on the right side, uh, charging levelers and all that stuff always being on the wrong side for them, which I can understand. Come magic, you get pretty annoying, but absolutely everything on this gun is ambidextrous. So you lefties out there, this is a gun for you if you're looking for a small, compact, submachine gun type gun for CQC. So enough talk, uh, let's pu put a few rounds down range and see how this gun performs. Semi. Oh, excuse me, full out of that. That's what I'm talking about. Now, as you guys saw, the gun has some decent kick for a small little gun, and it also sounds pretty good. And the rate of fire is pretty solid. And all in all, it's a very solid, solid shooting gun. Now, obviously, this is meant for those indoor uh, players. Not those outdoor players. Uh, I, just by the size, you can tell the barrel can't be very long because the gun itself isn't very long. Um, it's pretty expensive at, uh, you know, its, it's price point is pretty high. But you really get what you pay for. You get high quality plastic. Uh, that's, you know, ABS plastic. None of that garbage JG plastic. Uh, and also fires great. And you can tell that all the inside mechanics are all metal and, you know, up to spec and really, really nice. Uh, all in all, I mean, for the money, you're not going to find a much better submachine gun. You could use this. I would have no problem using this as my primary in TQC. And, you know, with these uh, heavy mags, gives the weight of the gun a lot better. Uh, really puts a lot of weight over your hand. So it balances the gun out really, really well. So if you guys want to pick this gun up, uh, you can head over to hobbiesandairsoft.com. Or you can come into the walk-in store if you live in New Jersey. You can pick one of these guns up off the wall, shoot it in a range down here, and maybe you'll go home with it. Uh, I'd also like to thank, actually, uh, Springfield Hobbies and Airsoft, because without them, I wouldn't have this gun to review, and you guys wouldn't be watching this review. So I really appreciate it, uh, all the support from them, all the support from you guys, and I appreciate if you guys would uh, like and subscribe if you want. See you in my next video.